You guys cool if I play some sports? Well, that's Hollywood actor Tom Cruise playing golf, fiddling with a coin. Only that he's not real. It's all the real thing. Now, Tom Cruise's deep fakes have flooded the internet and gotten a whole lot of people worried about the impact of technology. So, here's all about the ways in which this technology of deep fakes can severely harm you and can have real world consequences. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about a new technology that's affecting famous people. Our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. Dear people of Belgium, only blah blah blah, bing bang boom. It's going exactly how I always dreamed. But now, Delhi has a chance to change it all. Dear people of Belgium. These are all synthetically modified or what you can call deep fakes. Now, those are created using face detection technology and by analyzing facial expressions and face movement. Call it the Photoshop for videos. Now, those scanned faces are then superimposed on a body and a voice is clubbed in to make it look like the real deal. It's said that the camera never lies, but now it does. In fact, there's an app, My Heritage, that went viral this week, which gives motion to all pictures, almost making them come alive. Well, you could say that these are like Snapchat filters, except that deep fakes are crazily real, making you forget the difference between what's real and what's not, saying things which were never said. And that's the scary part. Things could be attributed to a person which he never said. A synthetic Obama, for instance, was created by somebody called Jordan Pelle. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the internet. It's a time when we need to rely on trusted news sources. In 2017, the University of Washington researchers created a fake Obama by using the shape of the former president's mouth. You're absolutely right, Whoopi, that uh, us showing respect for other people. Closer to home in India, last year BJP Neta Manoj Tiwari was speaking to Delhi voters in Haryanvi in English for the Delhi Assembly elections. Friends, I'm here just to ask about the work accounted for. Kejriwal said that he will start 500 new schools. Have they started? Numerous other leaders have become a victim of deep fakes and even James Bond has not been spared either. China even used this technology to create a fake anchor. Many other celebrities too have become a target of deep fakes. I said, polar bear? He said, enough to break the ice. So fake, but so, so real. That's how good and sophisticated this technology is becoming. And that's what should scare all of us. Because it could lead to an onslaught of fake news amongst other things. Imagine the impact it could have if you can make a politician say something. Or if a military leader says something racially insensitive that could perhaps spark a riot or anti-social elements could wreak havoc. Fake WhatsApp forwards are already driving mobs to murder. Just imagine what deep fakes could do. At least our generation knows. Some of you will know what I'm talking about, but our parents don't even know something like this exists. Worse, the politicians could use it to deny something that they actually said. Or these could be used just before an election campaign to influence votes. In August 2020, for instance, US Congress Speaker Nancy Pelosi was misrepresented to look like she was slurring and the video labelled her as drunk, which was a clear attempt to malign her. And then he had a press conference in the Rose Garden with all this um, short sort of visuals that obviously were planned long before. And then he had a press conference in the Rose Garden with all this um, Sure, sort of visuals that obviously were planned long before. And then there are fake pornographic videos or revenge porn which make popular people more susceptible to harm. This technology is nothing new. Film studios have been doing it for eons now, involving complicated and expensive softwares. Gaming companies too have been using them too. But what's scary is that now they are cheaper and available just a Google search away. This website called MachineTube, for instance, needs to be fed with a video or a picture of yours. And then you just sit back and let artificial intelligence prevail on the rest of the job. I tried this too to create this deep fake. It's that simple. Samsung's researchers in fact have supported that claim and have announced that deepfakes can be created using just one image. 
then there are apps available on play store and ios as well even audio manipulating software and apps are used to superimpose them on a face. Do you know that there have been scams also that use audio deepfakes of top executives to manipulate gullible callers? Then there are pages on Facebook that create parody videos using deepfake technology and they are still very much there. The trouble is that this technology is racing far, far ahead and big tech isn't extremely serious about filtering out deepfakes. I mean, Facebook has banned deepfakes, but they're very much there on uh, one of their other platforms like Instagram. Instagram and even some on Facebook. In fact, Facebook is still struggling with getting out basic fact checks on fake news from the platform. So deep fakes come much, much later. The other issue is that Indian laws are still silent on deep fakes. And this leads us to the final question. How do you know if a video is real? Sometimes there will be telltale glitches in facial movements. So pay very, very close attention to cheeks and forehead. Does the skin appear wrinkly or smooth? Do the glasses have glare? Do facial hair look real or fake? Does the size and color of lips match the rest of the face? So these are some of the cues that can help you identify. Next up, AI can fight AI. Artificial intelligence can be given training to differentiate real ones from the fakes. Third, when you get videos, go back to the source to check them. Just don't believe the forwards blindly. Check and verify before reacting.